Big Boys Big Neighborhood, boy. beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Let me tell you, it is about to get all legendary <laughs> up in here. We got the actual legend hanging Legends. out with us, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and that is comedian Eric Blake. How are you feeling, <laughs> Eric Blake? <laughs> <laughs> man, it is a pleasure to have you back in the neighborhood, man. You got to go. Now, no, with, no. With, with Eric, man, just, yeah, just man. the accolades, man. I know that you do the funny mother effers, uh, motherfuckers big, tour. Big boys, funny mofo. Yeah, man, and we got yeah, a great one that's coming up. Yeah. But I see that you brought your opening act with you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yes. This man that's uh he's paying his dues right yeah, now. I, I let him do his thing. Yeah, but we yeah. got Tommy Davidson in the neighborhood. You straight on your volume over there, Tommy? Straight. <laughs> uh, well, now, first off, straight. Tommy, all jokes aside, welcome back to the neighborhood, bro. Yes. Thank you. Bro. It is a Thank pleasure you, to man. see you. You've been playing hopscotch. <laughs> no, no, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> this you dude right catch. here, you look yeah. <laughs> you look <laughs> like foul footage. You look like foul footage, bro. Like every time you come in, it's, this dude got like this Benjamin Buttons disease. Or something <laughs> like Big I'm telling boy, you, man. Yeah. If we if we don't book him be, <laughs> uh, in another thing. year, he gonna come in as an infant. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> this dude, younger younger. you gotta wow. think. You've been on our Definitely TV younger. and on our screen for, for real, years, bro. dirty. Right. And you look dirty. better than us. Oh right. man. You, we oh, don't we don't caught up, and you you look better than us. <laughs> Tommy, do not age. You know, on, no. But first off, I gotta say, man, really, welcome to the neighborhood, man. Pleasure to Thank have you, you back in the neighborhood. Good to see you, man. You continue to work, huh? Hey, you know what it is. What is it? Hell, tell tell me, because divers- I don't want to. You got, y'all know, you got to diversify yourself to get them bills in. I heard that, man. <laughs> hey, man. Cause, yeah, because those bills, yeah. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man, got to go to work, man. Because if you can figure out a way where the bills don't come in and I right. don't have to pay them, right. please tell me. Yeah, right. tell us. It's not here on this planet. But you love what you do, though, Tommy Davidson. It's a, it's a pure art. I love it. Can't get enough of it. Even down to commercials. Mm-hmm. Commercials are an art form. I have a, a a beautiful time just watching TV, waiting for the commercials. Really though, and I think so you com- take it all yeah. in. Yeah, and I got a theory why the commercials are getting so good and crazy and psychedelic, because they legalizing weed. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There so, it is. There. So who's who's in the production in you the boardrooms? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah Taco Bell, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do some pink clouds. Right. And some and some oh. Let's hey, hey, put some cheese. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do, do you smoke, Tommy? <laughs> no, I, I do really? not smoke. Really? Do you drink? I do not drink. I heard that. Yeah, I do not is drink. Is there is not that because I don't smoke or drink. Right, right. And the reason for me is right. I never have. Right. You know what I'm saying? Is right. there a reason why yeah, I, with it being acceptable so much? Yeah, I have enough for everybody on this earth. Oh, you had uh, it up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you I'm know, high now, big, if, and I ain't if, touched nothing uh, in years. Yeah, everything is just fine. We're <laughs> right. talking and everything. One sip, boom, we done blew in the flames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happened? So, what happened? So <laughs> you, you did you get caught up in in what they call the entertainment business where everything is afforded to you, or you just Yeah, you know what you, you know, I got caught up in the illusion that something else was gonna fix me. Mm. Something outside of myself. Mm. And everybody goes through that, whether it's food, yeah, whether bro. it's sex, whether it's this, everybody got something that they can reach for for their own feel good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was blessed enough to find a method for me that works where I don't have to reach outside myself. Mm-hmm. Cause everything I, I need is right here. Mm-hmm. I got people who love me, who have been working with me for years. I got an audience. That right. cares. Yep. I'm in a business that's challenging. It's got a whole lot of competition. Keeps me honest. Why do you continue to love what you do? Because, because it's, it's still a grind. It's it's a grind, but it but but when you get it right, when you get it right, it's the bomb. Right. Man, you know, I, I, mean, you know. I was just with someone. For one, Eric Blake is always telling me how you guys are on the road and how well you do. And I know I like how, how you got two you names are. now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Eric Blake. Yeah, yeah, he's right, always right, right. Eric Blake to me. Yeah, yeah, EB. But yeah. who was I just talking with, man, that said... Uh, Aries Spears. Aries Spears. And, and you know, Aries Spears don't give it up. You know no, what I'm saying? Aries no, Spears... because he's got a hell of a crab stance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Aries Spears, crab man, stance. he told me, he said, man, the funniest in the game mm-hmm. is Tommy Davidson. Mm-hmm. Man. And that's and character is what's being said about you when you're not in the room. Oh, and you were nowhere in the room when he said this. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for another comedian that's mm-hmm. on his game mm-hmm. to me as well mm-hmm. to say, mm-hmm. no, nah, it ain't me. The funniest person is Tommy Davidson. Right. And I think and I think you've earned that, bro. Feel good. What? Just make me feel when good. you look mm-hmm. at comedy mm-hmm. now, with all the years that you put in, when was when did you first think I, I want to be a comedian? Um, it was at the first club I played at, which was a strip club mm-hmm. in DC. Hard audience, huh? Nobody yeah, wants to see anybody on CD. 
And it was the worst strip club in D.C. Yeah. I mean, actually, the dudes, the, the guards that stood outside yeah. had shirts on that in the back it said, please don't shoot them. Damn. Like they were serious. Right. Mm. So if I, I mean, ever turn my back, this is security. Uh, please, yeah, yeah, you know, security, don't shoot us. Yeah, yeah, please don't shoot me. You know what I mean? And um, it was just a rough environment, but I was the bright light that came in there. Mm -hmm. Now, I wasn't thinking it as a, as a comedian because my friend told me, you need to try it. I don't know what's wrong with you. You getting jobs. So you, you was neighborhood funny yeah, yeah, on the block yeah, funny. Yeah, he was like, saying, man, man, you could do that. You could be Eddie Murphy and all this stuff. I said, man, get out of here. So he got me five minutes with, with this manager at this club. Mm -hmm. I said, what am I supposed to do? He said, I don't know. Just open your mouth. So when I opened my mouth the first time, they laughed and kept laughing. But one night, one night, I had done this for like three months, mm. you know, every Saturday night, mm -hmm. right, for three months. Are, are you on the I can't lose? Huh? You, were you on the I can't oh, lose, yeah, man? Yeah, That's what yeah, I do. Yes. It's, 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 what happened was it was like a, a little sign. What happened was one of, one of the girls brought me a pin, and she just put it on my jacket after my show, and I didn't think nothing of it. But when I got home and I went to hang up the jacket, it said number one comedian. It didn't occur to me that I was already doing it. Mm. Wow! I was still just experimenting with what the hell was coming out my mouth. Huh. Right, right. So from there, talent shows, da da da. Apollo came out here, you know. Jesus but that's Lord. that's a lot of do pain. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. and, and that's a lot of you know putting in hours to get a minute worth of work. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yes, Performing at strip right. clubs, yeah, places yeah. people don't want to hear comedy. Signing up for, right. for one night and right. and then now we we fast forward and not to take away from anyone, right. but now we get comedians and it's like they Instagram funny. Oh right. man, no. and they Dude. can yep, yeah. and they can get like people that like them by pushing the button, yeah. right? Not by going to seeing them and going I like them. But when they go to a live audience, right? right. You know what I mean? It's so a whole different. Do y'all feel a, a different way? Not hate, but do y'all yeah. feel like like damn this this is <laughs> crazy the way we get on now? No, but no. When, when but actually when they get into the club, it's a, then it's a whole different ball. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you could be funny for five minutes with nobody looking, and people uh -huh. find that funny. That's great. But when you get in front of an audience, it's a whole different spiel. Because I work with a lot of uh, Instagram comics, yeah. uh, internet comics. And it's a and, lot of them. And, and it's yeah. a lot of them. And they get it's real. The whole world of them. They get real when they get in that line and they see what we do. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, oh, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can be funny in front of a camera. Yeah. But can you be funny for 45 minutes straight? Right. Well, here's the, the, here the key. You can be funny in front of something that ain't looking right at you. Right. Yeah. Right. And instant now, response. Yeah. They call it Instagram, but it ain't really instant. I, yeah, I, don't I, get it. You can't be, I, you can, can you be funny with, with, yeah. without a spectation, mm. expectation? I call mm. it heat. Right. right. And it comes out of here. Right. Mm. You know, everybody shoots a laser beam right at your ass. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because you <laughs> know what, Tommy? You could be on your laptop. Ain't nobody looking right at you. Where you want to go, Google? Yeah. <laughs> what you do? And, and then you, you know, you a minute in to to make something happen. No, no, no let's get it again. Right. Yeah. Let's get it again. Yeah, yeah, well, one, one, one minute. Yeah, let, yeah. Let, let, yeah. Let's try it again. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go into this right. store and I'm just gonna fall over on something. Yeah, you know what man. I'm saying? Yeah. So now you continue, Tommy Davidson, to stay on the road. Right. You continue mm -hmm. to work and you continue to enjoy. It and people yep. come and they show up. Show yeah. up bro. now, which is a miracle. Yeah. You know but, but but and, and you got to think, man. Yeah. With with artists, it's mm -hmm. like okay, I want to hear the hit song. Right. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? You you, right. you better come up with a new yeah. idea. Yeah. You got to pretty much do. We heard a that new, one before. Right. Yes. You know. But with comedians, it's, it, when when you're watching somebody great, and you're you're a young comic, and you're behind somebody like uh, uh, Tommy Davidson, and you're watching, you have hit jokes that you like to see. Yeah. Do. Like I love uh, uh, Rocky. Uh, uh, you did. Well, yeah, that's easy to do. <laughs> you you know what I mean? Know. My, my man, man. Right there, hey, dude, your you know Sammy I mean? Davis Jr. Oh. was better than Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wish he was alive to say that. Right. And, and, and I just want to say welcome to the neighborhood to, to his ass. Because, <laughs> because Sammy is the bomb. Now, hold on a second, all you guys. This is not a gumball. Right. Okay. right. <laughs> hey, man. Barack, Barack, Barack. <laughs> well, you know, the thing I, 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 I try to stress for Americans, uh, in this day and time, um, we are upset about <laughs> the current administration. And it's, it comes down to one simple element, voting. Mm -hmm. Now, if if I'm going to vote for someone with a cat on his head, okay, <laughs> right. then you better watch out. Yes. Not only does he have a cat on his head, he's got a cat hat. Yes. Now, even the cat in the hat right. had a hat. <laughs> yes. But this guy's got a cat for a hat. Yes. <laughs> 
So a where Persian do we go? Cat. So what about that? Yeah. <laughs> a Persian cat. <laughs> hey, man. When hey. did you know? <laughs> now, there is so much on a living color, man, that we enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. it's, it's our world. I'm, man. We, we created a whole universe out of that. We couldn't uh, get yeah. an in living color nowadays. For one, wow. we just we just view and we look at things different. Too and sensitive. and yeah, the cancel do. culture is ridiculous now. Right. We yes, we like don't even laugh off of things that yeah, we laughed we about. Yeah, people don't want to say wow. We still laugh, things. but we, we play like we can't. We right. play like we right. play like we don't. Mm -hmm. when, did you know when you were doing in living color that you were gonna be a part of a phenomenon? Did it feel what did that camaraderie, what did that feel like? You know what we knew that we was finna kick ass we knew we were good mm. we knew that this was going to be groundbreaking if they let us do it right and it's it, it I, I compared to sports you know nobody's thinking about the person that 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 won the finally won the lombardi but the team itself mm -hmm. so no one knew that the saints were going to win the super bowl that's like yeah. hell freezing over okay but they knew but they knew based on their strategy yeah. The team they put together, nobody cares Can't about Can't deny that. us. They care about the win. That's it. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that's what it's about. It's about what you put into what you're doing and then the result that comes out. And then continuous contact. It's hard to have continuous contact. It's hard to go into a club, you know, and, and, and it's a normal Wednesday. You know what I mean? When I'm used to having a sold-out crowd on the, on, on, on the road. Mm -hmm. Unless I love what I do so much and I did it so hard. For so long that if I have more than three people in the audience, that's an audience. Right. Because yeah. I used to wait until two o'clock in the morning as the club emptied out because I was on the end of the list, mm. praying that there'd be more than two people there when I get on stage. stage. Now, they used to come and pull my name out of a hat right. and say, Tommy Davidson. Now, all you got to do is take that name and put it over a billboard and people will show up. Yeah. Right. You see what I'm that's, saying? That's that's the work and that's the equity the work. you put in the That's in, the work the when nobody's looking, you on the bus. Do you still watch you know? any in Living Color? Like if you, if you pass by it, will you stop and like, oh, hell, watch an episode or watch a skit? I know every line. <laughs> Man. Yes. Hey, dude, my thing I also. every line. Their working lines, with Tupac. What, what we were thinking about. Man, oh, when you would man. do the. How was that? Because man. I. Man. The, the Tupac day, I remember the day. Wasn't that big? Yeah, man. Wasn't that big? Yes. Well, Tupac, there wasn't quite anybody like him. Like, Tupac was like, like, West Coast, the prince of West Coast. Mm -hmm. The prince. I'm talking about there was nobody like him. He was ghetto fab, but sophisticated, but he was homegrown. Mm -hmm. Okay? So he's an enigma living. You know what I mean? When he used to go to the clubs, you remember Jamaica House? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. You know, yeah. and, and, and uh, Carlos and Charlie's. Yes. And Roxbury. Yes. When he used to come to the club, every girl in the club would go to his table. I'm talking about every girl in the club. Yeah, be like, baby, I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I'll be right back. Right. But the amazing thing about him was when I met him. See, I'm, you know, I'm thinking I'm watching his persona, you know. You know, living down in L.A., you know, mm -hmm. you know, he, he's, he's, you know, how do you want it? How do you feel? How do you want it? How do you want it? How do you want it? So, so, you know, and I'm thinking, here this boy come with this attitude. You know what I mean? He's got this whole bravado. You know what I'm saying? Do you know when he met me, he said, hey, how you doing, sir? So man, it's an honor to meet you, mm. man. Wow. It's really an honor to meet you, man. He said, "Do he said you call me Tommy, man? Yeah, yeah. But I don't really know you like that, but you know, yeah, man. So that right there just shows he has dimension. Mm -hmm. He's got humility but bravado at the same time. Wow. A lot of people can't get that balance. He was really special. He was really special. You knew it when you was around. Him. Yeah, I know. So he let I us tell do a thing. That. Right. He ain't try. He he knows his space. He know where he plays. He ain't try to get in there and compete with me and Jamie. He oh, just no. sat there and laughed. Because it was you and Jamie, uh -huh. yeah. and y'all were trying to get uh, backstage. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, right. man. Yeah. He knew that we had the skill of that. Right. But when he come in that, that studio, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he's, he's the prince. He's the prince. 
of West Coast. Yeah, and man. when I say that, that's Portland, that that that's Seattle, yeah, mm-hmm. Tacoma, that's San Diego, mm-hmm. that's Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about that's the West Coast, yeah. like the real. It goes all the way. That's Raiders country, Frisco. That's Lakers. That's Kings. That's the West Coast. Right. right. Now, when I first got here, see, I thought the West Coast was like Soul Train. <laughs> what do you mean? I was like, man, ain't, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, gonna, yeah. ain't nobody gonna kick my ass with the process in the head. Right, 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 right. <laughs> or colors. He, yeah, he, he looking at Louis, my man, it. Soul Train right. Louis, like ah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, so my guy. So the worst. What up, Cuddy? Yeah, the, yeah. The, the the most gangster brother you are meeting in in L. A. Got Barrettes in his hair. Yeah, yeah. you talking about eighty? <laughs> what year? Yeah, Barrettes. What okay. year? That's eighty seven. Wow. Yes, sir. Bow reds. In mm-hmm. effect. Or twists. Yeah, hell yeah. With a bow red on the Hell yeah, long. Yeah. yeah, man. With a perm with, a, with, a, with some with blue a, rollers. So I went. With a rag I'm, on his head. Hey, a perm with a, some blue rollers. Yeah, I, right, exactly. I, I used to say, whatever you do, if you see a dude with a perm with blue rollers in his head, don't look him in the eye. Hell right. no. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Tie your shoe yeah. for 35 minutes, but don't look him in the eye. And I ain't know nothing. Because I came over here, and I was bravado. I was over at Crenshaw, playing basketball, you know, raising up on these boys, right? And the dude told me, Hey, what's wrong with you, cuz? I said, I ain't your cousin. Oh, shit. You know? <laughs> he was like, yo, go get my car. You know what? Car. Yeah. So what's what, happening? What's go a, get my car. Hell yeah. Car. What's, first of all, what's a car? What's in my car, cuz? My car. My car, cuz. They came with several cars. Dropping back on that ass. It was like six cars full. It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know bigger than what yeah, you are I'm, now. I'm like, guys. He was with your wife, friends. <laughs> so you guys are really serious about this. They said we ain't got to say it. So I only went over there to get a haircut. Oh uh, yeah. Over there to hang. <laughs> yeah. That's all I went over there for. My man was like, uh, no they more basketball. No more. Uh, go get the core. They take, it, they take it serious, and I respect it. Because right. no. it don't just start there. It starts back with the Black Panthers. It starts back with the Watch Rags. It yes. starts back way before us. Man, Stuck now way before you continue to work, man. Tommy Davidson, along with Eric uh, Eric Blake, uh, you're going to be at the Brea Improv. Yes, and that's yes. two nights, Friday oh. and Saturday night. Finally, I heard finally. that. Now, right. why do you why do you say finally for the Brea Improv? Well, because it's I new very rarely, I very rarely do a club in L.A. Right, very rarely mm-hmm. do I do a club in L.A. And then when I say L.A., I'm saying Brea or, yeah. um, or yeah, what's surrounding, surrounding areas, Ontario. Ontario. Yeah. Ontario. Like that's L.A. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's not L.A. proper. Mm-hmm. You know, it's L.A. minor. But but, but it's well, LA. We, we don't really yeah. get a chance to jump in our car right, and right. go see Tommy Davidson as much right. as we exactly. want to. Right. Exactly. Same audience. It's L.A. So this is down there coming home party. Come on. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and everybody always asks me, man, where you going to be performing in L.A., man? Yeah. You know? Right. So now here I am. Come on. Brea Improv, mm-hmm. man. And Come that on, is it. Friday and Saturday. Big Friday, boy. October 18th. Yeah, man. Saturday, October 19th. Along with my guy, my funny mofo, and that is Eric Blake, man. And yeah, I can just have to imagine my man. what that damn show is going to look man. like. It's a beast. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and y'all, and, and, and when, when uh, just with Eric and with, with Tommy as well, when y'all be um, ready to laugh. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and know how to time your food and know how to time your drinks, too. Yeah. <laughs> because I done seen things come out of people's mouths. That, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you ready. don't want yeah, 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 yeah. to spit out none of them expensive-ass drinks that they got the, at the improv as mm-hmm. well. Right. You know who was that? Who was that? The last time I was at the Bray Improv, you know who was in the front? Who was that? Uh-huh. wasn't me, because I don't know what you're yeah. going to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not Nate, brave enough. Nate Dog. Nate Dog. That was years ago. Nate Dog. Really, though? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Nate, Nate. Uh-huh. What's the one that passed away? Nate, right? Nate Dog. Yeah. Yep. Hold right up, up, right up, what? right up front. Wow. Damn. Right up front. Yeah, he was brave. He was brave enough to do so. Right up front, man. Man, wow. so that is Brea Improv, one eight zero South Brea Boulevard, uh, Brea, California, of course, man. And you can always grab your tickets at uh, Improv dot com, Brea. And thank you guys for coming into the neighborhood. Thanks for having bro. me. Yes, at the and we got to we got to sit down and really flush it out. Thanks too, for though. having sir. me at the enig- enigmatic. Neighborhood. Go ahead now. Now we got we got uh, who we got in comparison. Maybe Dre and Ed mm-hmm. that are culture. Yes. Right. That are culture. Yes. Few people that get in here and stick in here. And yeah, stay man. In here. Tom Joyner. Yes. You know, and Steve and those guys are newcomers. Right. You know, I'm talking about before syndication. Found a way to syndicate. Oh yeah. Angie Martinez. Are able to be. Are able to flex. Yeah. You know what I'm are saying? Like to, are still able to be verbal without being computerized. I heard that. Impossibilities. 
and still here, boy. Yeah. Big I'll boy. Take it. I'll take yeah, it, brother. All love. Man, I'll take it. Real. All I need is five minutes on the stage that night, too. No, yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hey, Big is funny, man. No, man. Big, people, I don't hey, know why Big going to do more jokes, man. His, people he think Big is doing it, man. He's having his keyboard. Hey. He made his, his turntable. Big he's having all his equipment. Let me, let me tell you why. People always say, tell me this all the time, Tommy. They say, mm. man, man, you could eat D.L. Hugo. Oh, man, you could do stand-up, man. You ever thought about stand-up? And I'm like, man, I can make you laugh within the hour. No. I can't make you laugh <laughs> for an hour. Mm. There's a total difference. That's and, a total and that's difference. not yeah, shooting myself down. But yeah. right. like, I would love to go up, up to this building and jump off and fly. Brother. I know I can't Brother. fly. Uh, Brother, uh, comedians yeah. don't play with the word, you funny. Right. Real comedians. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, and when I, when I, not, not that I, I, I got 20 years in this business. Mm-hmm. So when I watch you and I'm around you, bro, I'm looking at bits after bits right. after bits. Because you just drop it. Right. Boom, boom. Because usually I'm, I'm saying something that you said the day that. before. Oh. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> I get up on stage and do your material before you get out there. <laughs> Eric be back there like, man, this dude really take <laughs> No. Like, big. Hey. Okay. Big, you did, you did five yeah, I minutes. I guess I can't hey. get five minutes of your material. No. Strong said some stuff. I remember you did, you did a, it was a bit. Yeah. You, about Strong had you in the gym. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right, Big was talking about being in the gym with strong, yeah, and, and celebrity trainer, yeah, yeah. with no celebrity clients. <laughs> so. you, did like, <laughs> you did like ten minutes on on that. That's yeah. a bit, yeah, because right, a, yeah. But, but then then I go, I'll be like, yeah, strong. They be like, who the fuck is strong? <laughs> right, and but no, no, that's my, my trainer. That's yeah, it, but it was but, funny. My tra- but the art form of radio, right? See, it's a producer, right? So the days of the razor blade and yeah, 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 and right, right. Build this thing. Now, the, there's not too many. DJs or radio personalities that care enough mm-hmm. to infuse their personality and their skills into promos and commercials for other corporations. Right. Mm-hmm. Everything that you hear, it's got some of your blend in it. Yeah. Right. And they benefit from it. Oh, yeah. They know they can go to you and you're not going to be like, yeah, yeah, come down and say, you know, if you need yeah, yeah. insurance, I'm telling you, pop. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, make the stop. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm gonna write that down. It's like you know. Probably <laughs> <laughs> gonna make the stop. Tommy <laughs> Davidson along with Eric Blake, yeah, man. Brea Improv Friday, Saturday night. Best, make sure you y'all get best. out there, man. You're That's the right. best. Tommy Davidson, Eric Blake in the neighborhood, big boys big neighborhood. Boy.